Ladies and gentlemen, you know my next guest tonight from the Pitch Perfect movies, Good Girls Revolt, and Unbreakable Kimmy Schmidt. Please welcome Anna Camp. You know I wish that I could kiss these girls. Hello. How are you? Good to see you. Good to see you. Good to see you. Good to see you. How are you? Listen, I just found out something just seconds ago, literally, is that you're from South Carolina. Yes, I did I not sure know am. that. Where's. I don't really hear an accent. Well, sometimes on Friday nights, if I have enough wine, <laughs> it'll come out. Maybe white wine. A little white wine, a little Chardonnay, a little, you know. Maybe, yeah. maybe a bourbon dot coat. Maybe, yeah, a little sweet tea vodka. I never heard nobody. Sweet tea vodka, Firefly? Firefly, yes. Firefly vodka. Oh my God, we need to go out. We do, girl. <laughs> I want to party with you. Uh, where are you from in South Carolina? I'm from Charleston ish. Okay, well, I grew up kind of in Mount Pleasant. You grew up in Mount Pleasant? I sure well, did. Well, that's just right across the, uh, the Cooper the River. The Cooper River Bridge yeah, right yeah, there. Exactly, yeah, sure. And my sister's here from South Carolina, too. She's in the audience. Oh, uh, okay. Hey, sis. Hey, sis. Shout out. Where are you at? Oh, there you go. Oh, hey. Hey, what's up, sis? Were you born? Where were you born? I was born in a very small town called yep. Aiken, South Aiken. Carolina. Aiken. That's yes. practically Georgia. It's kind of, kind of like it. Kind of like it. Yeah. And yeah. then uh, we moved to Columbia. Mm -hmm. um, that's there. And now they live in Rock Hill, and that's also. You, Rock Hill? Okay, sure. Yeah, yeah, okay. yeah, yeah. Love it. We're all over the place. And I get off the phone with them, and I end up talking just like this. And my husband's like, "You've been on the phone with your family, haven't you?" Is he not? <laughs> is not him from the south? No, he's from New York. Oh, okay. Yeah, actually. Yeah. So we've got like a good family combo going on: New York, Italian, like. Jewish family and then like Southern, very polite, my side of the family. So it's great. <laughs> not that New Yorkers are capable of polite. politeness. They're, they're capable very of politeness. Polite. They're they very just lovely. choose not to be polite. Yeah, they're just a, just it's just, a little it's hard. More, yeah, it's just it's different. hard to be a saint in the city. Yeah, I get it. it. Yeah, definitely. Yeah. Now, uh, your Amazon show, this is, this is, you know. This is funny. This is funny, <laughs> interesting, you know, maybe more than funny. Right. Is that your show, Good Girls Revolt, um, Revolved around a sex discrimination lawsuit. Yes. But it was on Amazon, and the guy that canceled your show, mm -hmm. Roy Price, has just been forced out based on sexual harassment charges. I know. Interesting. Two Isn't that? wrongs make a right. Wrong. Don't you guys get to go back on the air now? We hope so. You know, everybody was really shocked when it got canceled. It was based on the first sexual discrimination lawsuit back in 1969. Sure. Um, and yeah, we were with a lot of fans. A lot of people loved the show. They watched the show. And apparently, we heard during the season two pitch, the producers had to refer to us by our actors' names and not by the characters' names because he didn't know who she was talking about, because I don't think he watched the show. Oh. Maybe. So, okay. yeah, so we'll see what happens, but all the fans are being so supportive, and um, I loved being on the show, and I think it's actually more relevant now than it ever was. Um, also, obviously, we know from the, the Pitch Perfect movies, yes. Pitch Perfect 3 is coming out in December. Yes. Okay, now do you... <laughs> sure. Excited, excited. Absolutely. Do you, does your husband sing? My husband has the best voice. Like, okay. better than anybody ever. It's the best. So, when you guys are at home together, <laughs> is it just, like, pitch perfect all the time? Is um, it all close harmonies and choreography? Uh, what? We, we try. We, we actually, we do have a little jingle. Like, if we solve a problem, like, the other day, we had to install a air conditioning when it was still so hot in New York. Yeah, yeah. And, and we sing a little song. Should I sing Such it? Such as? Sure, sure. <laughs> okay. It goes, um... Anna Camp and Skylar Austin making it work and making it last. <laughs> We're just that yes. cheesy. We are. But is it always, is it always positive like that, or does it ever get like ever like you know passive aggressive? Yeah. Like I took out the garbage the last time. You got to do it now, you lazy turd. <laughs> I'll use that. I'm gonna use that the next time that yeah. the garbage just yeah. go out. Yeah. I find. Do you have a pet? We do have a pet. What kind of pet? We have, do you a have a dog. Dog. I find that you can complain about your partner to your dog, and it doesn't sound so mean. <laughs> like, how would you go do that? Hey, <laughs> hi. Do you have any idea who maybe uh, threw away the newspaper before I read it? <laughs> Say that to your dog. Yeah. And you go. Oh, I didn't know it was you. Yeah. I was asking the dog. Maybe the dog had done it. <laughs> That's good. I'm also going to use that. That's great. All right. <laughs> Thanks. Now, uh, you, you're on Broadway now. Yes. Uh, with the lovely and talented Elizabeth McGovern here. The show is called Time in the Conways. Mm -hmm. 
-hmm. Now, this isn't you. That's Elizabeth on the cover that is right not there. Me, no. Okay, and what, what happens in Time of the Conways? And is Tim Conway in it? <laughs> That's what everybody asks on Twitter. They're like, is this about Tim Conway? We're like, no, it's actually like a play set in 1919 Britain, so it has nothing to do with Tim Conway. But it is a really beautiful play. Um, there's some time traveling in it. We go from 1919 to what? 1937. What? No, little time traveling, or just it just jumps time? There's no spaceships. There's no time travel machine. But do people time travel? Well, you have to come see the play. But there is some, there's a shift in time. If you, you tell me there's me, time traveling, I'll go see the play. We all age, there's time traveling. Then I'll go see the play. Yeah, and we all age 20 years. So you get to see you this age whole family. Years? Yeah, we get to see this whole family go from young, happy, vibrant to what happens 20 years from now. And not everybody is as happy. Oh. Uh, so yeah, it's kind of depressing. <laughs> You should have stopped so, at time travel. Come see it. I'm sorry. This is why then you travel back in time and fix everything. Wait, so and then are we happy go back. Then we might go back to you might, the happy town. But then you so. find out that Biff gets elected president. <laughs> exactly. You don't want that. Exactly. No, we do not want that. No. No. <laughs> Well, it was lovely to meet y'all. So nice to meet you. Thank you for having me. Time in the Conways is on Broadway right now. Anna Camp, everybody. We'll be right back.